Hello, it's Neil Dixon here from South Bromsgrove High School. Today we're going to have a look at the difference between the back systems of a few different types of rucksacks that you might use on your DOV expedition. We're going to look at the pros and cons and most importantly we're going to focus on how to fit your rucksack so that it's comfortable for you on your expedition and does the job. Okay. Now this first rucksack here we brought out as an example of one which isn't very good. It's not just the fact that it's got a fixed length back system, it's the fact that it's just not got enough uh, stiffness um, and, and sort of structural strength there to, to spread the load evenly. And if you've got something like the stove in the back of your rucksack here, this might be kind of digging into you, it's gonna be quite uncomfortable to carry. So we find that sometimes students are buying their rucksacks from the kind of discount high street retailers um, and they're not stiff enough, they don't have the, enough adjustability um, and they're not really going to be a comfortable way for you to carry your expedition kit. This rucksack here also has a fixed length back system. So the length of the, when we talk about the length of the back system, we're talking about the, the height between the hip belt here and the shoulder straps up here at the top. Now this doesn't adjust but that's not a problem as long as it's exactly the right size for you. So uh, rucksacks like this that have a fixed length back system will often have a size on it. And we can see just here, there's a little label here that says M for medium, okay? Um, so if you've got a fixed length back system, which is the right length for you, that's fine. Otherwise, it's better to steer clear of these because they just don't allow for that adjustment in the, the height between your hips and your shoulders to make it fit. Now, the other three rucksacks that we've got here do allow you to adjust the height, um, uh, the length of the back system, and they do that in different ways. So I'm just going to show you how you can do that with these first two rucksacks, and then we're going to look at why that's important. In this first rucksack here, the height adjustment is indicated by these markers here, and it's currently set to the longest length between the hips and the shoulder strap. For this one here, we basically just pull up on this bit here, and release the Velcro. And then we can slide this panel further into the, into the sort of gap there until we end up with the, the back system at the right length. So I can kind of move it down like that until it's now a much shorter back system there. Okay, so that's quite a quick and easy one to, to adjust. On this next one here, the back system is set to its shortest length. So you can see there are some indicators here and here and some adjustment straps there and there, which if I loosen those adjustment straps off, you can see the shoulder straps moving further away from the, uh, from the hip belt, okay? So this is now the back system being at its longest length. Before we go on to the next style, I'm gonna shorten this one right back down again, and then with Mrs. Hayden's help, we're gonna have a look at what the problem is if your back system is set too short. Okay, so that's now set at its shortest length. And when Mrs. Hayden puts this one on, we're gonna see it looking really, really uncomfortable. So when we're, doing, when we're fitting a rucksack, we always want the hip belt to carry 50% of the weight and then you want the remaining weight to be split evenly between the two shoulder straps. So 50% here, 25% here, 25% on the other side there. But what we can see with this back system is because the, the dis distance between here and here is so short, so much of the rucksack is above Mrs. Hayden's shoulders that it's falling backwards. And even if I was to tighten these stabilizing straps here, it's still gonna be quite imbalanced. The other thing that happens is when Mrs. Hayden pulls these straps here to make them a bit more comfortable, it has the effect of lifting the hip belt up to her waist, and then it's not really an effective place for it to carry the weight, okay? So if your rucksack is looking like this, with a really short distance between the shoulder straps and the hip belt, you might have a back system set too short, okay? So we'll take this one off, and then we'll have a look at this next rucksack. So, with this one, we've deliberately set the back system too long to begin with, so that you can see what that would look like. Now, when Mrs. Hayden cranks the hip belt around her hips to take 50% of the weight, and then she does the chest strap next, okay, which goes across at the top of the chest, then the effect of pulling in these shoulder straps down here means that we end up with a gap just in there where the shoulder straps are now not really doing their job. So these shoulder straps here, and especially 
One of the mistakes that we see quite often with students is that they pull these straps too tight with their back system too long. And then this, this gap in here means that the shoulder straps aren't doing their job of taking 50% of the weight over there, okay? So what we'll do is we'll take this one off. I'll show you how to adjust the back system on this one and then we'll refit it. So it's a really popular kind of design. It's used across lots and lots of manufacturers. And when we pull this off here, what we can see is that there are a number of matching numbers here and here. Now we're gonna go in between the 52 and 54. We're gonna poke this bit up through there and then we've gotta get it underneath these straps here and here. And then feed it back out Pull it nice and tight, get it in the middle, and then fold that bit back down here. Okay, so we've shortened that uh, back system quite a bit now. Let's see if that uh, works a bit better for Mrs. Hayden. The other thing I'm gonna show you is how to adjust the height of the chest strap, okay? Um, because generally speaking, most students, especially female students, will find the chest strap to be much more comfortable if it's higher up across the chest. So with this one here, we just pull these bits out, poke them through and hook them back on again. On other designs of rucksack, they might adjust in a slightly different way. For example, on this rucksack here, the chest strap attachment slides up on this stiffened bit of plastic here. Okay, right, let's see how this one fits Mrs. Hayden now. Okay, so remember the sequence of adjusting your rucksack straps. Get somebody to support the weight of the rucksack. Hip belt first, so 50% of the weight on there. You might need to, to get a, a friend or family member just to crack that one nice and tight. And the weight needs to be on the top of your hips. It shouldn't be on your waist. It should be across the top of your hips. Second strap to do up is the chest strap. Remember I said that we wanted that to be nice and high, okay? So below the collarbones, but nice and high for that to be comfortable. And then the next straps to do would be these ones here that go under the arms and backwards. And remember, these are the ones that are gonna tighten up that strap there in order to take the remaining weight, okay? It's useful to check the distance between the end of the shoulder strap and the hip belt is the same on both sides to make sure they're nice and balanced. And then the final straps to adjust are just these ones up here. The effect of these straps, if they're really, really loose, what we find is that the rucksack feels really wobbly when you walk. So it sort of tends to wobble around up here at the top. So we just stabilize the rucksack a little bit with tightening those straps just at the end of the process. But remember, if you pull these ones too tight, it has the effect of lifting the shoulder straps away from your shoulders, okay? Hopefully that's helped you to understand the pros and cons of different back systems, the way that you might adjust your uh, rucksack um, and uh, hopefully give you a comfortable expedition as much as is possible with DAV. Big thanks to our friends at Cotswold in Droitwich for helping us out with the loan of the bags. Um, and uh, that's all until another day.